Hello there, Pete McPherson here, founder of Do You Even Blog, Fab.ai, and a couple of other apps I've built as a non-developer, which is kind of what I want to talk about in this series. So this is going to be a 10-ish part series on YouTube for free, where I build an app live. And let me actually just show it to you. It's not like been out forever, but I am starting to get some uh, alpha and beta testers right now. It's called Topical Map AI. And uh, basically users can, oh, I'm not logged in. I should probably log in right here. I'll just show, show it to you first. And then I'm actually gonna go over the uh, like big broad picture of what I'm doing in each of the videos. Uh, so here is a bunch of topical maps. Uh, I'm a blogger, I'm into SEO and so, Keyword research and this whole thing can be like super annoying. Let's just do one I've done before just for the fun of it. Breakfast food, cooking, you can name it whatever you want. You can enter in a niche, you hit submit. And then in the background right now, and actually I'll just show it to you. In the background, my app is coming up with categories, silos, and several hundred different topics, semantically unique topics, which will be uh, basically just keyword research for a new site or an existing site to fill in gaps. And I'll show you what they look like. So here's the one I just submitted. It's not going to be done yet. It's still processing. I'll show you one that's already done just for the fun part. Hi-Fi equipment for beginners. So there were 911 total pages that should be on this site. And it kind of uh, does the big picture categories. It kind of breaks it down into silos after that. And then for each silo, it has like a bunch of topics. And then you can click to copy these to your clipboard, or you can uh, download as CSV. And of course, this is a paid app. If you want to use it right now, if you want to pay me money, if this is up your alley, you can go to, uh, it's actually topical map AI, topical map AI and do that. So this generates Stripe so people can pay me. This uses, uh, well at the moment it's actually using Claude 3, but it also uses OpenAI API. So that's all the stuff that we do in this video. And it's actually still going. It'll take maybe about three minutes total, maybe like another 30 seconds and that'll be done. Uh, I'll just gonna go over what we're gonna do in this video. So the overall objective is just to build an app that's helpful for people, charge money for it, sure. Uh, super cheap for me to operate, and so it's a lifetime payment of 49 bucks. It's not gonna change my business, but it'd be helpful and fun. So there you go. The tools I use. Uh, so VS Code, <laughs> literally as of yesterday, I kind of switched to Cursor just to try it out. It's basically exactly like VS Code, but there's some built-in AI stuff. Okay, so that that's done. Those are go. Anyways, VS Code, Svelte Kit is the framework that this is built on. So not React, not Next.js, not any of that stuff. Just SvelteKit, it's just lots of JavaScript, basically, with some uh, little small, easy syntax stuff. I'm not really big into syntax. I'm not a developer. I'm not going to teach you how to code. I'm going to teach you how to build an app. Um, Google Cloud, and more specifically, Google, Google Firebase. I should have put this in here. Firebase is a backend as a service. It makes stuff like having a database with your users and your data. It's so easy. Right? You don't want to be a backend developer, you want to be a builder. That's what this, this is for. Uh, I'm going to be using Render, render.com, for my hosting, to host my app, to serve it, deploy it, if you will. Tailwind is a CSS framework, and I'm going to be using Daisy UI just because they're super easy and fast. I don't want to think about styling my website. I just want it to work and look good. So that's what I do here. Uh, OpenAI and then Stripe for payments. So here's the big picture of what we do. I don't know why I have this in here. <laughs> I didn't actually haven't revisited this in like two months since I started this project. Um, anyways, languages, it's JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. The JavaScript, I'm gonna be using uh, ChatGPT to help me with and Cursor AI to help me with a little bit because I'm not a developer, like I said. I know enough to be danger at this point only because I built a few apps, but you don't have to know that much. However, a solid understanding of basic HTML uh, it would be really helpful. Not even CSS, because we're going to be using Tailwind and, and Daisy UI. I didn't even know that at all. Um, oh, big picture code. Okay. All right. Now I get it. So first we're going to like set up the app in the first video or two. We're going to 
create a new project. We're going to install Svelte Kit and then update all the dependencies, uh, the plugins, stuff like that, in PMI. We're going to set up Google Firebase. We create a free account there. We're not going to pay any money for this, by the way. Uh, we set up Google Firebase. Going to go ahead and initialize a Git repository so we can, if you don't know what that is, save changes and manage saves and history and stuff like that. Git, right? We're going to use GitHub completely free. I'll show you how to do all that. We're going to deploy the app. We're going to send it off of my computer onto the internet. And we're going to use render. And uh, we're going to do that actually before we code the actual app, by the way. I'll get into why that is, but eh, I think it's helpful in development. Uh, we're going to build the app, like literally code the app, what it does. Routing, as in going to different pages. Um, navigation, we're going to build like the top menu bar, the bottom menu bar. We're going to lay out the overall design. Again, super fast with Tailwind and Daisy UI. We're going to uh, implement Google Auth for sign in and sign up, log in, log out, that sort of stuff. Google Auth right there. We're going to implement payments, obviously, via Stripe. And then we're going to implement AI so we can chat with AI. We're going to use, I think, OpenAI. I don't remember if I actually did a Cloud 3 video in here. It actually uses Cloud 3 now, but we'll use OpenAI too. And then we're going to build the uh, the core functionality after that. I'm not going to show you every single line of code in my app because, I don't know, it's mine, not yours. Uh, but you'll get to see a lot of it throughout the process. Again, not going to share every single line, but you'll see a lot of it when I generate it. And then... The other steps of like building and launching this thing are just testing it over and over again and fixing errors as they pop up and then letting some users in and then really getting the errors because that's when you see errors. You thought you understood errors until you actually have other people use your app and then you get lots. So that's actually the phase I'm in right now. I'm getting three alpha testers in today. Next week, I'm going to launch it to the people who prepaid as beta testers. And then there you go. So without further ado, I'll see you in the next video when we just start building.